Hi, I'm Barry List, and you're watching the latest in an online series about the best ways that your organization can use analytics. This special segment is devoted to keeping your analytics department from losing its way. Our guest today is Chuck Holland, the Vice President of Industrial Engineering at UPS. Chuck, thanks for joining us. You're very welcome. My pleasure. Tell us a little bit about UPS and your role there in relation to analytics. Well, I think a lot of people are familiar with UPS. We're the world's largest package delivery company. What may not be as um, uh, obvious to a lot of folks is our area in logistics in general. Uh, we are involved with freight and freight forwarding as well as warehousing and fulfillment. Uh, we have customs brokerage. Uh, we also do returns, even repairs. Uh, we're in about 200 countries across um, the entire globe. So that's a little bit of background about uh, UPS. Uh, I personally have worked for UPS for 35 years. It's been my um, uh, blessed opportunity to work for UPS for that amount of time. Uh, UPS has really always been a method and procedures and metrics driven uh, company, always trying to find the best way to lay out facilities or to set up our, our schedules or our over the road runs. And it's interesting, that's how I started with UPS 35 years ago as a one in five data gatherer uh, standing behind the trailers and literally sampling where the uh, packages were going. So today my role at UPS as Vice President of Industrial Engineering is I'm responsible for the visions and the systems to try to optimally move packages from point A to point B and be involved with the uh, delivery and pickup of those um, packages. Uh, among my responsibilities is the Operations Research Group. Advanced Analytics and Operations Research, or, or OR, are, are closely linked. Operations research at UPS once faced a near-death experience and came back stronger with lessons for other companies. What was the problem? Well, a near-death experience was a good way to describe it, and it was in the uh, mid-1990s. And frankly, we were looking at ways to reduce cost at UPS. Um, OR had been in, um, in a staple of UPS for several years, but really had no tangible uh, benefits, nothing that we could show for the costs. It was, it was literally a cost bu bucket with no tangible benefits. You made three kinds of changes to restore operations research at UPS. Tell us first what the three changes were, and then we can go into them one by one. Okay. Um, first was organizational structure or reporting structure. Uh, second was the approach that we took, and then third was accountability. And what did you change in terms of organizational reporting? Well, you know, it's sort of been a, uh, a long-time debate in the OR community on the reporting structure for OR. Uh, should it report to the IT group, or should it report on the business side? And if on the business side, um, where? Uh, we had it um, really reporting to two different groups. We had two OR, two OR groups uh, separated geography and, and separated uh, as well by the areas that they worked on. One was um, mostly airline projects and the other was tractor trailer or rail movements. Um, both groups reported to areas in UPS that were more responsible for execution than for um, planning. So the uh, organizational change we made was moving it under the industrial engineering group. And really it had two benefits. We were responsible for the roadmap and the vision. But then secondly, most industrial engineering groups have some amount of OR classes in their curriculum. So even though most industrial engineers cannot do the sophisticated algorithms that it takes to develop the ultimate solution, um, we do know uh, how OR works and I guess um, know the strengths and the abilities of OR, but probably just as important know the limitations of OR as well. What did you change in the company approach to the way that analytics and OR are used? And I guess for starters, we can look at the old approach. Well, um, the old approach was sort of push the button, out pops the answer. And, and I think part of that was not understanding the limitations of OR. And the groups that were responsible for execution said OR is all about optimization, OR is all about the perfect answer. So I, here's all the constraints and I want you to pop out um, the perfect answer. Um, we found that uh, that, that, um, that that obviously wasn't, um, wasn't going to be the way to, to do it. So that's where we started, that's where we were. And what did you change? Well, um, we, there, there was really three areas of change and they all sort of tied um, together. And that is um, data, assistance, and then um, finally uh, roadmaps. Um, you know, there's been a long debate. You, you wind up with, a, with an OR algorithm and the 
answer that you wind up with isn't optimal, it isn't even um, feasible. And so the question starts becoming, do I have a problem with the algorithm or do I have a problem with the data? Finally, for companies facing similar problems, can you provide some advice based on the UPS experience? Sure, Barry. Uh, the first thing I'd recommend is to educate yourself on the power of analytics, the power of operations research, but just as importantly, uh, educate yourself on the uh, limitations. Uh, be confident in your reporting structure. There's a lot of different ways to approach it, but be confident the reporting structure that you have is the one that's going to deliver uh, the, best, um, the best opportunity for OR to be successful. Um, make OR part of your systems, part of your roadmaps. Don't have a separate game plan for OR, but make it part of your roadmap that you already have for systems, and have it set up where the systems can work with or without OR. OR will just simply take it to the, um, to the next level. Um, implement uh, accountability, uh, have scheduled reviews with mid-management and senior management as necessary. I can honestly say those changes worked for UPS and I'm confident that uh, looking at OR and these individual organizations and companies would be a benefit to them as well. Thank you, Chuck Holland of UPS. And thank you for watching this quick take on analytics from INFORMS, the Institute for Operations Research and the Management Sciences. For more information, visit us on the web at www.informs.org. Thank you.